You got it or you don't. Do you want this? Or do you not? Are you gonna kill someone right there when they say or not? Everything I fucking say, I say I fucking mean it 100%. If I tell you I'm gonna rip your fucking head off, motherfucker, I'll rip your fucking head off. You think I'm fucking playing, dude? Hell no. We've both been through some shit in life. We enjoy that fucking pain that we go through. I hope wholeheartedly he goes in there and thinks that he's going to knock me the fuck out because afterwards when he's looking at me eye to eye, it's going to be a whole I mean, story. I mean, if my arm breaks in the process, your fucking ass is going airborne, motherfucker. I ain't going nowhere. I think him and I both are naturally competitive in anything that we're going to get into and we've taken this so seriously and so far to the point where we are now that the, the competitiveness is probably at an all-time high in all reality. Close, but no cigar. <laughs> it was my first time! Uh, what? Don't miss. Bullseye! Oh, well, he got shit. Ah, oh, it's one. Ooh, he's going double-handed, fuck yeah! Ah, <laughs> whipped it too hard. Ooh, I'm sorry, man. I'm I got excited. I got excited. Unprofessional of me. <laughs> Look at your shorts. Is that a one or a miss or a drop? Is that a miss? Okay. I'm mean, his training partner for like a month and a half, dude. Like, shit, train with each other every day. Like, he's just a good guy and I like him. For us on both sides to be friends when we're friends and then at the table, it's there's no friendship up there for anybody. I guess we're both just a little insane, man. But it's time for me to kick his ass then, now or later, it's gonna happen, so. We're here to do power slap, and I'm saying I'm better at that than he is. We both anticipated this for a long time now, and the time has finally come for us to go up there and go from teammates to competitors. I am so much better than him, and I believe so because, well, I believe so, I'm gonna show you why. Let's throw a few more, I suppose, I mean, I done whooped your ass, and I'm sorry I'm gonna do it again. Keep on thinking that. Let's do this shit. Cling, cling, cling. All right, bullseye wins. Bullseye wins. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he's back. Nicole, what's, what's up, man? Nice what's up, buddy? How are you doing? So you knocked out Jane Rivera last time. Yeah. Talk to me about that experience. How did that feel? It was amazing. I know I had power, but I, not, I didn't know I was going to put him down for that one. <laughs> oh! Slap the shit out of it! Holy shit! That was incredible. That's the kind of force that can be generated. We're not playing games here. And uh, did you have two kids? If I remember right. Just one. Just one. Just yep. one. How's yeah. he doing? He's good. I mean, he's just doing as good as he can. You know. What are the symptoms? So like, when you say like, you know how he was too young to even understand, he probably will never understand. It's called CDG. Like, it developmentally slows them down. That's like 800 cases in the whole world, so it's super rare. Uh, he can't gain weight. Uh, he's on a 24-hour feed all day long, so there's a tube connected to him for 24 hours all day. And then he gets really bad, like, his stomach swells up. It gets fluid from his liver because he has liver failure. That, like, kind of changed my why, why I'm here, you know? Uh, have this platform, maybe some there's other families out there. And if you yeah. share like these symptoms like that, uh, that's how people at home are gonna be like, hey, my kid has that and I don't know what he has. Yeah. And then maybe they can just t get him tested. It's a blood test yeah. away. Yeah. And then yeah. boom, yeah. their yeah. kid's yeah. diagnosed. We were on the bus to come here actually, and Andrew Field started talking about how his kid had a feeding tube. And I was like, my kid has a feeding tube too. And then like we talked about their, our child's issues together and he went home and she got a little bit more sick and started having the same symptoms my son did. And then he got her tested and he calls me up. He's like, dude, you won't believe it. She, she has it. And it was nuts. What's up, Andrew? Have a seat. <laughs> dude, what's up, bro? Good to see you, brother. Good to see you, too, man. See. I know. How's Two months. Fam? I know, doing good, just kind of dealing with things as they come. How's Aubrey? Um, She's doing pretty good. Um, we're still up at the hospital right now. When we got here, they just uh, had to do a liver biopsy and drew like 500 milliliters off her belly. Oh, did they really? Yeah. 
I cannot believe that she ended up with CDG. I don't know about you, but I feel like really blessed that I have this opportunity because if I can keep, you know, winning these fights, I have to, I don't have to go back to work. Oh yeah, for sure. That's what I'm saying. Like keep winning, don't get knocked out, so you don't get a medical suspension. That's bro. the goal. Just keep stacking That's this paper. <laughs> We pros up in this bitch. Uh -huh. bitch. Ah! Now we fucking do it. We make that motherfucking weight. Each and every time. We don't miss weight up in this bitch. How you feeling today, man? Feeling good. Feeling good. <laughs> Where do you think you're gonna weigh in at? Uh before or after I eat this candy bar. Slap for cash. Dude, you ate a butterfinger and weigh in. Well, I think we pretty much realize just do what the fuck I want. It's entertainment at the end of the day. 461. Fuck yeah! <laughs> <laughs> We're fucking now. Going viral today, boys. Going viral today. What does it mean for you to be one of the faces of this brand new division here? It's getting it crazy! <laughs> Woo! I actually lost five pounds. I really did. 247 and a half for the bell. How you feeling? Not bad at all, buddy. 204.8 with my clothes on. Ready. <laughs> I love Power Slap, man. For these guys to come out here, bro, and be on a, a platform like this is amazing, in my opinion. You know, a lot of these guys, bro, they come from the trenches. They come from neighborhoods that a lot of people don't go to. To sit there and let a grown man slap you with the palm of his hand, it's respect, man. They tough. It's crazy. It's actually gonna showcase the world who they are, what their stories are. So I think power stop is the beautiful thing.